Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, Pug Gaming. So we're going to continue today on our Christmassy town. We're near the end of the festive season now, but we still need to complete this. So in the last episode we did a bit more detail and we expanded the sort of cove that this area is built into. And I'm going to start now in a time lapse because we're going to do the same again. We need to expand a little bit more up these banks as well. I'm kind of trying to get to a stage where we have it a bit more fluent. Some of the buildings, as you can see from here, do leave a very nasty sort of, well, a nasty terrain around them. So we're going to try and link all that up today. Um, I think in terms of the houses, we've got enough here now in this, uh, this bottom area. Still got to work on the top zone as well. Not too sure what we're going to do with that just yet, but I'm sure we'll get some ideas flowing shortly. So whilst we do some detailing in the background, I just really want to give you guys another huge thank you. City Skylines was the main game I've been playing on this channel to get over a thousand subs. And every one of you, I would like to say thank you for that. You have followed me the whole way, you've given me advice, you've kept strong with me and I don't know what more to say really than thank you very much and I'm hoping that we can continue this um, sort of longer term. I mean I'm not here for the money, I'm here because I enjoy playing the games and clearly a thousand of you and possibly more also enjoy watching me play. Um, as you know I do play this game a lot different to how others do the game for me itself is all about detailing and actually designing a town to look and feel how I want it to based on whichever scenario I'm using. And what I love best about the Skylines is the community that's been growing and growing and growing ever since the game was released. Everyone sharing their ideas, everyone commenting on what they like and what they feel they could change. It's all, I mean at the end of the day City Skylines is not a game that's done the right or wrong way. It's just nice that we can all share our opinions, we can give advice, we can use each other's ideas and sort of use that in our own way as well. Not one City Skylines project will look the same as another. Certainly, even if you're doing the same type of design, you'll never ever see two designers and maps identical, which is what I love about it. Everyone does something slightly different, even if you search on YouTube for, for example, farmlands, you can see mine on there and you can also see other people's and everyone does something slightly different and that's what I love about this game. It's so versatile and well, it's come a long way in the least sort of year or so I've been um, playing it now. Especially with all the mods and assets, everyone who is involved in the community, from the people who play it, from the people who build it, from the people who create the mods and assets, it's just a community that's growing and it's really enjoyable to be part of, I must admit. So anyway, let's get back to the Christmassy town build. So we've done a bit more detailing around the sides here. I've decided as well we need to edge this area out a little bit. So we're using the terrain tool now just to make things a little bit more level. I like the idea of having the hills, but I don't want to have these big huge drops between them. So we need to try and work out a way of doing so. And not only with terraforming tools, but now with the introduction of the move it tool and the fact you can move the roads up and down, that also helps a lot with the actual terrain issues. So check out my other videos. I've got a few videos on the move it mod um, sort of ideas and tutorials on that. So check that out if you need some advice on how to use it. But it's so such a good mod. I've found so many clever ideas in which you can do well. What you can do with it, it's, it's an amazing mod. So we're just going to finish a few little bits in these corners here and then we're going to jump into a let's play on a bit of farmland which is what I'm going to design next. We're going to do a sort of farmhouse and a farm utility area. This sort of zone I'm building here gives me an idea that there's going to be a lot of fields around, lots of farming areas which obviously we need a farmer's house and sort of facilities as well so we're going to work on that next. So I've decided we're going to do the farm, well the first farmland here, right below the fire station along this main road into the actual town. So the first job is to map out a sort of location for the main field to be. We'll probably extend this and do a lot more field areas around as well. But we just want to close this area off a bit now. It's uh, 
looking a little bit too open with all the uh, unfilled space so what better to put into these spaces than having some farmland it's pretty much what you're guaranteed to see anyway so we're going to use this to our advantage and uh, add some um, farmlands around and we're going to start right here so let's put these fences across like so and what we could do we'll shift this across I think because I want to have a sort of fence gate of some description just a smaller one just to make it look I think there's one somewhere that would be nice but it's a little bit too big it will overlap a little bit there um, there was a nice little one it's sort of a two bar fence that will do actually so that gives the indication of a way into this farmland and I'm thinking we're gonna put the farmhouse I've certainly seen a farmhouse in my collection but I think there is also a farming um, sort of zone sort of barns I believe but whilst we're on the farm let's put down this little wind turbine so this is the one that I had in mind so this does look really good so it's like three barns carb um, harvester combine harvester that's the one in the corner there I'm thinking that way round will look a lot better but we've got a bit of an issue here because the land is not flat which means that putting this in is not going to look too good so we may have to jump out of this here and just flatten the terrain but before that let's delete this I want to see the farmhouse and see what that looks like I want to fit both in this area I'm not too sure how yet I don't really want to extend the road too much so that doesn't look too good we'll get rid of that but there was a farmhouse I believe if we go back actually let's just do this first okay let's terrain this zone so we want to flatten the land as best we can in this bottom corner here alright so not too fussed about the farmland itself but we want to definitely get this bottom tier to be a lot more flat so we can actually add the buildings down so let's try now Okay, so move this across a little bit. How's that looking? Not as bad. Spin that round. So I'm thinking, I think we won't look a bit silly over there. So we need definitely need to have it close to this road area here. And raise it up a little bit. So I'm thinking we still need to get a little bit of terrain modified here. Not sure though, let's have a quick look around. See, so it's not too bad. I think what we'll do is we'll do a bit of terrain modification whilst the building's down. That's better, there we go. So that's the level we want, and now what we want to do is just fade the rest around it. That's much better, there we go, perfect. Okay. Let's move this over as well. So I'm thinking the farmhouse can go in this area here. That will certainly work. Let's move this into the actual farm area. Drop that back down, okay. Perfect. Just ease that bit across as well, just there. Okay, so now need to try and represent some farmland as well at some point. But this is the farming house that I'm looking to use. And that certainly does the job. Opposite the main far, well, the main barn, so that works well in terms of the story. And yes, I'm liking that. So, what can we put on next? Let's 
So, like I say, we want to represent the farmland, but with the snow theme we've got, it's going to be difficult to do so. So we might need to try and find some sort of uh, decor that will match that. So we're going to put some gates in here. So put them a little bit screw if so they actually look like they are meant to be gates rather than fence that have got a bit crazy. So that works there. Far the fences aren't going to work too well across here though, which is a bit annoying. But we need to fence up the end of this road here as well. So let's put one there and one there. Just to close this area off. It could lead to some future farms later on as well. And we'll put some fences across there which works much better and we'll do an entrance here. That's looking much better now. So as soon as you fence things in it does create a better idea of what you're trying to show. It looks more realistic in my opinion and gives it a little bit of a boom. So let's put down some 4x4s. Obviously in farmlands you're guaranteed to see a couple of 4x4s around along with the tractor and other farming creations, vehicles, whatever you want to call them. And now we want to put some pavements down, like so. And remember the Move It mod tool is perfect for this. You can move things around and you get to lose this automatic connection to the roads which does tend to mess things up quite severely so we'll put this right in this corner here it's looking much better more fast fetics obviously no one's going to really be walking along these paths so much and we're going to do the same here we're going to lead this over to this fence that we created over here the gateway um, let's just move that over a tad there we go that's perfect much better okay so that's the pathway sorted I say pathways it's pretty much a um, private track really for the farmland a uh, bit of detang as well around here what I like as well about these decors is if you're using the snowy terrain theme everything looks different which is absolutely amazing like this here this is more this is the concrete I believe astroturf stuff and putting it down looks more like snow which uh, obviously in my build works perfectly so put a few little bits here and there and that in the corner what else we got here a little bit there okay so in the snowy areas you will tend to see underneath the trees you do have a bit of sort of soil um, areas which the snow hasn't quite covered yet so we want to try and represent that here as well excellent and we want to do something again with the actual field so what can we use for that let's just finish off these what else have we got that works and to be honest, I'm going in this corner here as well. Okay. It's looking good. Alright, what else have we got then? Got some grass won't really work. These are a little bit overkill for the snowy theme. Same with that. Now one thing I haven't checked is when you put these down, does the snow cover any of these areas? Let's have a look. Let's put down one of the... not so much grass. Let's put... Uh, da -da -da. See that looks pretty good actually, but let's see first of all whether the actual farm decors do much when the snow's here. Because some of them do work with the actual snowy theme, 
but others don't. So let's try this in the corner here. So you can see there is a little bit of a sort of cover to what it should look like normally. And as you can see, as I'm overlapping here, you can see the middle, that's the colour it normally is. So, as you can see there, yeah. So I'm not sure this is going to work, to be honest, guys. This is going to look a little bit silly, I think, because when you zoom out as well, it looks very untidy. So, okay, let's skip that. And what I did like was this other decor we found. This one here, which is the dirt one. And if you put them all down like this, that actually does give the idea that there is something underneath the snow so if you was looking at a farmland um, location in the snow obviously if it's a heavy coverage you will just see the snow but I wanted to give an idea here that it's just covering up here the roads we haven't had a full um, layer of snow just yet and some of the farmland is still poking its way through the snow which is exactly what this sort of res well, res resembles in my opinion I really do like that. That combination works really well. So let's just do that here. We'll do a few more bits as well. But up close, I do really like that. If we zoom in here, look at that. Let's get out of this view so we can see it properly. Yeah, look at that here. Yeah, I do like that. That looks really good. So it gives you the idea of the snow is just settling, but not settling so well on some parts of the land. So we're going to do this as well. We're going to cover some other bits and bobs as we jump into a time lapse here. Just to really give that, that sort of boom across the rest of the area. Because I don't want to give the idea, I want the idea of the living area where people are living to be a bit more used. And using this decor really does give that sort of feeling. Obviously the areas all around where people aren't moving or going and actually stepping on will be a lot more snow covered. But I want this other area to sort of bo um, boom out. Um, just like that to be honest. Going to add a few winter trees because the only downside to this farm is it's only offers the green foliage which obviously doesn't match the rest of this area but I'll probably what I will do is add a bit of both so I have been going a bit overkill on the snowy trees but we're going to add some green foliage in the next episode I think just to get that pop and I did have an idea about putting a football st uh, field over here but unfortunately with the snowy theme that didn't quite work out to plan so that's pretty much it for this episode. In the next episode, I think we're going to work a bit more on some of the decor. And we're going to add a bit more farms. Well, add some farms around. And also, we're going to start working on the top tier. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing your comments. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And even subscribe if you want to see more. So on that note guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. All the best.